reciprocal, meaning he's bringing the same thing, what of value are you going to be bringing to this relationship? I feel like that's subjective only because totally the man, subjective, sure. Well, the man would decide that. So it's like if he doesn't think I'm good enough to date well, him. Well, no, no, no. In this case, I'm asking you what you think. I assume that, that this potential guy is yeah, going to you... come up with all sorts of different metrics for whatever those are. But mm -hmm. you specifically, from your perception, what would you be bringing? <laughs> No, that's definitely about me. <laughs> I don't get it. What does that mean? Is there, uh, thank you, Pagan. Thank it, you, well, Pagan, for the he, he's saying that when Gen Z women are born, the doctor puts a microchip in their brain, which causes a short circuit or along their cerebral cortex. So when they say woman as a plural form of women, that's why. Hmm. And it's that's troll comment. <laughs> okay. Wait, you don't believe that? No. That's because he's trolling. No, I know. You, you didn't know. <laughs> you can't play it off now. You messed it all up. You can't play it off. Just a girl. You were so close. Just so close. Girl. So close. Anyway, <laughs> so, so back to this question. What would you be bringing to the table, do you think, that, that is non-reciprocal? So, like, if a man sees me on the street or something, like, what would, what would be the traits that he would see that would draw him in? No, no, no. What would you be bringing to the table that he wouldn't be bringing to the table? In the context of what? Of a relationship. Like, as far as, like, the maturity? Anything. I mean, I don't know. It's just, like, I'm trying to be open without thinking about, like, too narrow-minded. Can you restate back to us the multiple traits that you listed out that you want in a man? I was saying I like a dominant man. Yep. Is established, mature, and... Um, I guess not an asshole. I don't know. <laughs> but so it's very easy for you to answer what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But why is it a little harder for, like, here's all the traits that I want in a guy. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just as easily say, here's what I'm bringing? Mm -hmm. So what are those things? I mean, for me personally, like, it's definitely hard to, like, narrow things down because, like, but the you things... You don't seem to have any trouble narrowing them down for what you want. Right, because that's in my perspective of what I want. But it's, like, it's hard for us as people to reflect that inward and know what traits you know what i mean really From, wait a second yeah. don't you know yourself the best you've been living with yourself for 19 years you mm -hmm. know everything there is to know about you mm -hmm. so how would you not be able if you're looking externally at externally about men who i might not even know i want xyz mm -hmm. but why can't you just list out well here's what i'm bringing here's me mm -hmm. this is what i bring well, I mean... Okay, that's fair. Let like, me ask the second part of the question. Mm -hmm. What baggage would you bring? Baggage? I mean, relationship-wise, or just mm -hmm. in general. Relationship? Baggage-wise, I mean, I guess if they were to look at my sexual things, you know, like, mm -hmm. I guess, body count or my profession, the fact that I don't have a lot of relationship experience... I think age could also play a factor because that comes with the lack of experience. Mm -hmm. um, so we have at least four pieces of baggage. Right. Can we get one positive that you're going to be bringing to this relationship that's non-reciprocal? From, from what men have told me, like in my personal life, they like me because I'm honest with them. I'm funny. Reciprocal traits, though. You would expect honesty as you're getting honesty, Right. Right. So that's a reciprocal trait. It's a non-reciprocal trait that you think you would bring. Something that would benefit him, no? By being with you? I mean, yeah. That's why I was saying it's up to the individual. Like, I'm not going to be like, I don't have like a giant ego. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be like, oh, he's going to get to date the baddest bitch around and blah, blah, blah. Like, to me, that's subjective to whatever man I'm dating or whatever man finds interest. It's up to him to find those traits in me that he is attracted to. And that's different for everybody. Wait, so... How so about, nothing? Like, I feel like I have, like, just a different question that kind of would give the same answer. Like, what do you think a traditional man who's dominant, who's a provider, and all those things you listed would want in a woman? Do you want a provider? Okay. So that, I'm assuming you want a guy to pay for the first date, right? To leave. You want a guy to pay? Do you, would you want a guy to pay for like subsequent dates too? Yeah, like I mean, I think that comes with the dominant role. Okay. 
So you would be submissive then. I assume that's what you would bring. Right. So I have a question. If you were dating a guy and he told you, I want you to stop doing porn, would you be submissive and listen to him? If I loved someone, absolutely. What if you didn't love him? Then I would not stop. I wouldn't be in a relationship. Well, what if you're, you don't love him yet? That's pointless to me because I'm like, if I don't love you yet, I'm not going to quit my job for you. Yeah, but somebody can grow to love somebody. That's very possible. But well, I'm not going to cut off my yet. financials because you told me. He's providing. Right. But I feel I would want to be in love with someone for them to cut off Or at least attraction, maybe not love, but mm. attraction to them. Would yeah. you give it up for them? I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up if she's attracted to a relationship. Dude. If I'm just attracted, I don't really care. But how long does it take for you to fall in love with someone? I don't know. I haven't been in love. A week for me. The last question I got for you. Mm-hmm. Why would a traditional man who had those traditional traits and values want somebody who See, now I'm porn? understanding. Um, I'm not saying they would. I'm just saying what I like. Yeah, so it's like, for me, I understand <laughs> what I do as a job. I understand the way the world would view that in a mm-hmm. negative light or whatever. And that, at the end of the day, that was my decision. So maybe it's harder for me to find a man sure. that I want. But let's circle. You know all, what I mean? We're going to circle all the way back mm-hmm. now to the original question I asked you. Do you think that there's going to be any long-term ramifications from you doing corn? The response to this was everything except this answer, Mm -hmm. which is that it could definitely have significant problems when it came to the relationship that you would want with a man who had the traits, characteristics, and values that you're after. Mm -hmm. How come you left that out? I wasn't thinking about that because most of the time when people bring it you up, they always... weren't thinking about it. Well, they always bring up, oh, what, is your, what about your family? What about your children? Mm-hmm. They're not thinking about like, oh, well, what about I your assume, future relationships? I assume you're going to have children with somebody you're in love with. Yeah, of then course. Then you want that person to have those values, right? That comes before the kid, right? So I that comes before that the before. kid. I mean, there's a step-by-step process here. Right type of man that you're after for the values, aren't you hamstringing yourself? I mean, no, because at the end of the day, if a dude doesn't want me back, I'm not going to chase it. Like, I'm not going to look stupid yeah, like but why that. would a man who had values, structured values, and was traditional, which is what you want, mm-hmm. why would he want to be with a corn star? Right. I'm not saying a traditional man has to be. So how is that not hamstringing yourself? Well, because it's like, I grew up in a household that was a Christian household. Sure. And so maybe it's just the way I grew up that it's kind of ingrained in me to like certain traits in a relationship. I'm not saying that's an indefinite to what I'd be looking for. Like, let's say I find someone and they're not even like that at all, but I love them and it works for us. That's fine too. Really? You think that you're going to be able to change things like you want them to be dominant, a provider, have traditional values. You really think you're going to change your attractive what you're attracted to, really? I mean, if you love somebody, yeah. Andrew, can I ask you a question on this? Mm -hmm. Can a guy be dominant and a provider, but not be traditional? Yes. Yes. So in other words, I'm going to concede that this is logically possible. Right. I don't ever see it, though. (laughs) Meaning that the types of men, I think, who desire to be in those roles generally seem to have a value structure which underpins why they want to be in those roles. Otherwise, what the hell would be the point? You just go out and be a promiscuous man whore and hump every chick you saw and lie to them, be a scumbag. There wouldn't really be any negative ramifications to that. So why not do that? On the provider front, I I do wonder, though, if there's, like, liberal cuck soy boy who's, like, just, you know, making... Nothing precludes a liberal cuck soy boy from making a ton of money. No. So they can fall into the provider role. Let me ask the counter to this. So the liberal cuck soy boy, why does he want to fall in the provider role? Maybe. Well, it, it would occur Maybe to me Maybe it's that like instinct, because like, weren't you talking about male instincts or something sure. earlier? Like, what if it's just like ingrained from where they grew up? I would think it would be instinct to not be a liberal cuck soy boy too, though, right? <laughs> that seems instinctual, but maybe it's not just purely instinct. What would be the incentive for somebody who lives in modernity, a man who lives in modernity, makes tons of cash, right? And he doesn't see really any value mm-hmm. in being a provider when he can just basically go out and hump whatever woman he wants. What would be the principle underpinning behind that? You said you're raising a Christian household, so you probably assume 
in your head, the way that you think about it is, it's supposed to be man, woman, children, devoted wife, right? Head of household, husband. Mm -hmm. These are the examples that you see. Do you know why that becomes ingrained though? It's because those are examples that work. And so you look your whole life and you look around you and you see all kinds of examples that don't work. Traditionalism is really just the study of experiments that worked. That's an experiment that always works. Mm-hmm. It seems to work the best out of every other experiment. It didn't experiment. work for my parents. But even if your parents split, that doesn't mean they won't enter into another traditional relationship with other people, right? Mm-hmm. So again, this is the experiment again seeming to work as it's supposed to. Even if with these two people it did not work, it doesn't mean they're not going to look for a reformation for exactly that same kind of relationship again. That's the examples that we see that work the most. And so that's why we kind of are always looking at them and going, okay, why does this work? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's relevant to the original point, though. I think it is. Because what you're after is you seem to be after all the values of somebody who has an underpinning ethical system. The ethical system being what are the things you value? Honesty, right? Integrity, honor. Part of that, the nature of I provide for woman, Mm -hmm. I take care of wife, wife doesn't have to work, right? I'll kill myself at the factory every day to make sure the family's taken care of. There has to be some kind of underpinning there for for ethics, right? Otherwise, why the hell would you do it? So you're saying like... Saying that absent the ethical part, I don't think you get, you can arrive at the traditional part. I don't think Mm -hmm. it's easy to arrive there. Does that make sense? Can I add something? Yeah. Nobody wants to be a single mom. I have a child, and I would not be able to do it alone. I just got a C-section, and I was in the ICU for septic shock. And my boyfriend had to step up and take care of my kid. I was literally dying on my deathbed, and I had to get blood transfusions, everything. I don't know how some women do it alone. That is like... It's sad that some women go through it, but that's definitely, you want a partner that's going to stick by you. Now, I couldn't even put on my own underwear. But weren't you with this guy for three months before? Well, no, I knew him for a long time before then. I yeah, knew I know, but romantically, years. right? Romantically, yeah. We'd hang out in groups. So wasn't that just a gamble? Well, I guess I took his word for it when he told me that he was serious and he did want a family in a serious relationship. And it just so happened that we got along and we have very similar interests. So, I mean, it worked. But if you were to take yourself out of your shoes, mm-hmm. this worked, yeah. right, for you? This did work, yeah. You would never recommend it for somebody else, though, right? Honestly, I got really lucky. I yeah. won it because <laughs> yeah. maybe they would end up a single mom, honestly. Right. That's what I'm saying is like, I understand the principle of what you're saying. It's really difficult, though they do. Yes. Because you're right. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot more work involved. Well, it doesn't take a village, but it does take a dad. And also, like, you don't want your child growing up, hey, mommy and daddy are dating different people. That's not a good example. A good example of what, though? Good example of having a traditional household, uh, hypothetically, you know, not my situation. I mean, but I, that that's depends not. how you like view the world, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I I'm not gonna for go some around people. like for me personally because I did grow up in, in, in a certain way. I'm striving to not have that happen. Yeah, not to be like, you know, nobody. What you I mean? know. Wait, hold on. Because Just you grew as far up as in like a certain divorce. way. Wait, mm-hmm. you don't want. So you do want to get married one day. Yeah. Do you want to have kids? Absolutely. But don't you think simply by virtue of the work that you've done, that's going to make it much more difficult to have a stable relationship? No impact whatsoever on the... It'll definitely have an impact. But for me, like, again, as I was saying, like, it doesn't need to be like the concrete, like... But if if it'll definitely have an impact, Mm -hmm. wouldn't that have an impact on the likelihood of the relation, the success of the relationship? No, because I'm not going to get married to someone that I have, like, things, like, like about my past. You know, like, if you're mad that I did this job, you're not the one for me, you know? Or, mm-hmm. for example, this is perhaps one you won't be able to avoid. If mm-hmm. you said you want to have kids, mm-hmm. okay, what, what sort of complications will be introduced into not only your relationship with your partner, but your relationship with your children, which will invariably introduce uh, issues with your partner, if the child is bullied, for example, because of the work you've done? I mean, I'm planning to have kids in, like, 15 years. You never know when you're going to have kids. videos of you in 15 years from now? 
And not only that, but there'll be a hologram. Have a kid then. next week. Not only that, but we'll in 15 years pregnant. from now, the f- father of that child will still be the father, and you could choose that father from today, and they could be the father in 15 years. And I don't think doing mm-hmm. you, the what? industry that you're in. I'm sorry, was I not clear? I understood what she okay. said. Okay, okay. Just keep on, keep on, keep on. No, and you weren't clear. No, I'm kidding. I can rephrase it. Also, so the father that you choose now could be the father of your kid in 15 years. And the father that you do you really think you're more likely to get a good man in the industry that you're in? Or, or are you more likely to not get a good man while you're in the industry? I mean, based off of their argument, it would be I'm less likely. But what do you think? For me, like, I mean, I don't really care. Like... For me, like I'm. Wait, no, but I'm you do care. Hold on, hold on. But but you do care mm-hmm. because you said that due to your past experiences, yourself as a child, you said you don't want that for you, and you don't want that for your future children. Correct. You said you don't want what happened to your parents to happen to you. Correct. But simply by virtue of the work you've done mm-hmm. and the work you do, it has increased the likelihood that that will be the outcome. Absolutely. It's not a guarantee. I never denied Not that, a guarantee, ever. but it's right. increased the likelihood. Yeah. Really. I mean, the, true. And when you have a kid, you're going to want to protect them and, you know, I'll protect the best my for kids, them. but I mean, it doesn't have to be in the context of what I used to do for work. I mean, I, I know a lot of girls that I grew up with and their moms were strippers and stuff, you but, know, and like no one cared. It's just like you, like, I feel like shaming they cared. someone for Andrew their cared. past they at cared. the end of the day. Well, I mean, Wait, okay. Sorry, go ahead. But what, what I was saying is that shaming people for their past, like, Obviously, that's an issue, but I feel like... Wait, it, why? It, well, it's an issue because, like, as you were saying, like... Would you date a... A broke guy? Would you date a broke guy? I have in the past, what, yeah. Okay, was that the question? No. Would you but date, would I now? Would Absolutely a, not. Well, so hold on. Because of a man's perhaps lack of action, his current state of affairs, mm-hmm. he's broke. Perhaps, and this is due in part or in totality Mm -hmm. to actions or lack of actions he took in the past. So you are essentially shaming him for his past actions by not being at a place financially that you deem acceptable in the present. But that's not the same as shaming them. I'm not shaming you for being broke. Bro, you you chick shamed bills, bills, bills by Destiny's Child, TLC, no No scrubs. scrubs. I I have no idea. I mean, bro. You, a- TLC, hey, but does a, like, so does a man want a broken? You shouldn't shame me for what I did a week ago. Right. 10 days ago, 20 days ago. But what if the perception is, okay, but you're going to do this again tomorrow and next Tuesday and next Thursday? Is that okay then to shame? Or is it just what you're really saying is just not okay to shame people? I didn't say it wasn't okay to shame people, but in the context of what we were saying, which was my job, which I'm not the only person in the world that has a controversial job. I agree. When, when you live your life, mm-hmm. you live your life through risk mitigation, whether you think so or not. Mm-hmm. You don't blow through red lights, right? How come? How come you don't blow through red lights for fun? Illegal. You're most likely going to die. Let's say it was legal. Mm-hmm. Would you blow through red lights for fun? No. Why? Because I would get T-boned. Oh, Yum. so you're mitigating risk. Right. Right? Do you want to get into a car that had shaky wheels? No. No. Why? Because it's dangerous. And so you're what? Mitigating it's, risk. It's risk. You're mitigating risk. So you live your entire life mitigating risk. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it sound like a little bit of cope to say, well, it just so happens I'm in this industry which has a high risk associated with it. I just don't care about mitigating it. Well, because if we're talking about risk mitigation, assume for a second that every single police officer got shot while they were on duty. Mm -hmm. Do you think that anybody would want to be a police officer? No. No? (laughs) Probably not, right? But if you were to have acceptable risk where you go, okay, almost no police officers actually get shot on duty. Mm -hmm. Well, that seems like it's not that much of a risky job, right? However, when you're talking about doing corn, for instance... Mm -hmm. What do you think the risk likelihoods increase that they don't end up with happy marriages with traditional men? I don't know the statistics, so I can't say anything. A ridiculous number, like it's 95%. Mm-hmm. Would that even change your mind? Would you stop doing it tomorrow? The truth. No. So then, 
ultimately, you're just saying to hell with risk mitigation in this. Right. Because I want to fucking do it, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's life. You make choices and there's consequences. Would... I'm not denying. I never denied the consequences. I'll say that. I'm not, like, delusional. Like, I, I understand. Well, I'm not saying you're delusional. There is a point, you know, and there is a place where, you know, it might be an issue in my life. But what, what if in that. 10 years, though, you remember that you were on this random podcast with this asshole who told you, don't continue. You could stop now and it'll mitigate risk overnight. Mm -hmm. You can just stop. You can go get a job as a secretary. You can go get a job as a car salesman. You can do anything but this. And your life's outcome is going to likely be better. Wouldn't mm -hmm. it be better if, if, when you think about that objectively to not kick yourself in the ass in 10 years and go, fuck, I should have listened to that guy. And instead, just quit. Do anything other than that. Well, if that happens, I'll find you and take you out to a nice dinner. Uh -huh. Right? Can I, can I say something? No, you're going to find me. And here's what's <laughs> going to happen. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. 10 years, I'll get the phone call, mm -hmm. and you're going to say, man, Andrew, you were so right about this, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, <clears throat> <laughs> I told you, dummy, right? Because that's social shaming. The hope there mm -hmm. is that you'll take that laughter and internalize it, and it'll make you seethe with anger so that you'll speak out in 10 years to the next generation and say, yeah, this didn't work out so well. Life. You know, you learn things, right? Yeah. I mean, it, who knows? Maybe it'll go my way, and I'll be, I'll call you and be like, yo, it worked out, and laugh in your face. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I love your opinion just now, and I think that, you know, you're still 19, you're young. He brings a really good point, but I want to ask course. you something. Mm -hmm. Would you date a broke guy mm -hmm. if... Like, you could build a life with him. Like, he doesn't have any money right now, but hypothetically, let's say you get pregnant, right? And he's like, you know, I don't have the best job right now, but I'm willing to get another job. But who knows, maybe he's making $2,500, $3,000 a month. Would you be okay with dating him? Okay. If he's really trying and he does love you. Well, yeah, because that shows ambition. Okay. But it's like, if you're just a broke man and you have no ambition and you have no plan and you have no, like... I don't know. Like, again, like what I was saying is like, like a dominant man. If you're not doing anything to improve your life, yeah. that doesn't attract me I to think you. And I would never get pregnant by a dude that couldn't afford a child. Things can change. He can get a job. He could say, but do you know what? I need to step apply it up. To me. Yeah, but you're honestly like you're just exiting like a bunch of guys that, you know, could potentially, you know, you could potentially date. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Not to get personal. That situation happened with my boyfriend. He couldn't afford a kid. He got another job. Mm -hmm. And I'm essentially a lot better off than him. I didn't care. But there are guys that, who cares if they're broke? Who cares? Honestly, once you have $200,000 in cash, are you going to care about a, if a guy is broke? Seriously. Does $200,000 in your hand mean anything to you? Well, I already said that it's not about it make you them happy? being broke. It's about their ambitions and their There is some people life. that money would make them happy. Mm -hmm. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life, having mm -hmm. a child and having a family and being a mother. I don't give a fudge about money. And I've seen that much money in cash easily. Right. Oh, I didn't say I cared kid. about money How do you that support much? your kid if without money? <laughs> money? Yeah. How would you support your kid with that money? Yes, you're saying you don't care about money, but you I need that you money have. to support a kid, but... You guys can be a team. You guys can build a family together. That really does. How like, is that gold you, digger to want um, no, what to she find said. someone what she that said. wants to, to be able then to provide you guys, for the child? I mean, well, I'm not going to get pregnant if, you can, if we cannot no, but provide you for know the kid. What? That makes no sense. You know what? Every situation is different. Every guy is mm -hmm. different. But if a guy is willing to come up to you and say, hey, listen, I don't care about your past. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I want to start a family with you. And you know, I don't have a bunch of money, but I'm willing to step up and get another job. Are you going to reject him because he maybe has $100 in his bank account? No, because okay. he has that thing where he's not And then stagnant. money doesn't matter at the, the end of the day. He has the ambition to get more money. I I'd rather be broke as shit and not have any money in my bank account, not have anything to my name, and have a loving husband mm -hmm. and a child and be a happy family. That's what really but matters. But that's not about being broke or not. Exactly. Like, you can't provide for yourself not, if you have no money. Yeah, but you know what? There's assistance out there. There really is. But there's I'm not going to do that after I'm pregnant. Stuff like that. I, think, that I think the point is, like, there's so many options you could do before resorting to that, to working in that industry that would not have you go through all of those consequences. And, and I think the 
worst part of this is the kids. Like, the, if you acknowledge that there's consequences with kids, I think you're irresponsible if you know that there's going to be some type of consequence or something put on those kids. And I remember you said, well, I have friends that have strippers as, like, moms or all of that. And yeah, you don't want fine. that. You don't want to raise your kid. Okay, like I just really dislike people who want kids, and they're like, well, it's fine, instead of having the intention of, I want to do my absolute change. best. Not mediocre. Not, well, they'll turn out fine. They'll have food and, and roof over their head. They'll have money from what I'm working as. Not with the intention of, I want the absolute best thing for them. Not yeah. just, you know, You could go to fine. college. You could do I mean, a lot I of things. I do want the best for my future, you know, You're still non-existent 19. children. What she's doing is her decision at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, but That's she, fine, she could but have better. You shouldn't sit here, your fake friend, smart. if you literally sit here and say that it's okay for what she's doing long term. She's going to probably have kids one day. Of course. You're still young too, so you might not get it. I'm a lot older than I work at a pharmacy, you. so I know what I want to okay. do in life. I get it, so. but you shouldn't sit here and condemn what she's doing. It's wrong, and I will say it right now it's completely That's your opinion, wrong of okay well guess what I you, I, you have, have an only okay but you're not gonna no, shame but me for you know what, what I do when you have an only fan yeah, but it's not mainstream and you have a child so yeah, what about you I'm not doing your opinion, porn seriously at least take your the, naked body's still somewhere on the internet girl like, I'm sure but it doesn't here? what I'm, I'm trying sorry, to tell like, you is you shouldn't it's giving go if you're gonna have a relationship you shouldn't go and fuck guys and then come home and fuck your boyfriend you're disgusting for that if you ever do that I don't have a boyfriend and that's why you won't get a boyfriend Again. because nobody wants to be with somebody <laughs> that's going to have sex with multiple guys. You probably are going to end up with some type of STI one day. And also, you're laughing. <laughs> you're next. It's in her defense. No, literally, you guys are just immature. <laughs> and honestly, this is wrong with society. You have it's an only like you I mean, guys. You have an only fans. matter. I don't you have, have an only fans. Fans. <laughs> Bitches, I can literally shut down my fucking only just kids and never have to fucking work again for the rest <laughs> of my fucking life. So shut the fuck just, up. Are you going to touch just me? Be Seriously, so you need to stop. Don't, put don't encourage hand. that. Please don't put your hand in my face. Yeah, I mean, Thank we you. could be calm about it. <laughs> because calm. I'm fucking rich. That's why. Go home. I'm calm. No, bitch, you go the fuck home. I'm calm, girl. I was just saying that it was just... Better. Find better for yourself. You're young. You have potential. You. <laughs> you are young. You are 19. You have a whole life ahead of you. Go do something better. Seriously, you have the capability. I think it's... Absolutely. If that was never something it's... I said. Let's say I find a different interest... And, uh, you know, I feel I'm not like shaming I want to go to you. I actually would like something. to see you do better. I do judge her right now. It doesn't fucking matter. I have a daughter to take well, care of. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to because it's my choice. And then I'm, there you I'm go. Right. You're a hypocrite. Then there you go. I'm not a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I'm not <laughs> sitting here and doing fucking porn. You're a hypocrite. <laughs> Girl, at the end of the I day. I actually, do you know what? I take back my good advice. I hope you literally end up homeless in the street because you won't take good advice. another thing. I will also judge a person for not being calm because the point is to. To you guys everyone. are like young. You guys don't get it until Thank you have you. children. But you will like, understand. Well, all I was saying is that it, it was just coming from a place of someone that has an OnlyFans. So it I doesn't fucking matter. Oh, I made it in life. I own a fucking mansion. I can want, and I fucking manage my properties and collect rent. The fuck do you do? Fucking fuck guys. So shut the fuck up. Can like you, do you not come for me. No. I don't. Fu- I fuck my fucking husband. Thank you so me. much. Not yet. He's not your husband. No. Yet. But it doesn't I, fucking matter. If you I have right, a child. Right, he's not getting married. If you actually care about reaching through her, that man. she's not going to understand by yelling. If we actually want her to change, if you actually care No, for you guys, honestly, you guys are no, going to have a very okay, tough time in life. To say very tough time All in I life. Wanted to say. Very tough time. You're, you're sitting there and laughing. Very no. tough time in life. I'm a lot older than you guys, and also I've done a lot of stuff in my life, and I actually tried to be fucking nice to you and say that you have capability, you have potential, and you're sitting here right. and wasting it. You right. could, you don't, you know, you could be a nurse. You could still be a nurse. Exactly. Right. Oh, Nobody's saying take back this? what you did, but you should mm-hmm. at least strive to be better. So maybe this is a stepping stone, you know, to get to where you're at, mm-hmm. but at least have like another plan is what I'm trying to tell you. I am not coming after you. I'm trying to tell you there is a plan B. You're right. laughing. Exactly. I mean, you're, you, you should want B. better for your friends. What I was trying you should to literally say want better for your friends. Don't for sit there you. and laugh. Where She's, is the line for you though? Because I feel like like, like, if you have an OnlyFans, oh, I, I just can do it. I already. Okay, how much money have you made on OnlyFans? Tell me a fucking number right now. How much Is money have you line. made? I've made half a million dollars, and I have can prove it on OnlyFans. You're okay, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Out of ten, let's drop it down to a two. <laughs> and I've been Whoa. doing social media since 2016. You are 19 at the end of the day. Do better for yourself. You'd even give life a chance. You literally went straight into porn. You'd even try to do better for yourself. Read the comment. 
What did oh, you say? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because guess what? I can do whatever the fuck I want. I am rich as fuck. It doesn't both matter. Both of you, no, both of you brought up like the stripper thing. So like, where's the line for you? Like, if I was a stripper, would that still be as much of an issue because yes. it's not online? It's or is it just because just want better. Use that as a stepping of stone. The child it's use a stepping things. stone. Use it. Okay, if you're doing porn right now, okay. Do you know what? I'm. I hypothetically, if I was you, okay, I'm doing porn. I don't want to do porn in two years, right? I want to go to college. I want to go to you know be a nurse. Whatever you want to do, right? Use mm-hmm. that as a stepping stone and at least have a plan. There's, you're laughing. What, no, is what, what is your plan? What is your plan? That you're a model. No. What is your my plan? plan? How much money I'm have you made in your life? Tight. I work Monday to Friday, okay. nine to five. Okay. I make twenty three an hour. I work 20, with farm- what is twenty three an hour? Can it's you more than, than putting my fa- my body on OnlyFans? Being a hypocrite about it. I oh, made more money than all of you. So funny. Do you know why? It's not giving hater. I literally said I wanted to see you do better, and you can't accept well, that. You didn't even know me though. You met me today. Adder, I, I actually feel bad for you because you're 19, why? and you, you can't decide where you want to get married. <laughs> Do you know what? That is a good reason to feel bad for me. Because I actually want to find out where the fuck I'm getting married to. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you shouldn't sit here and laugh. You don't know me either. And I don't know you. I don't know you, but I said it would be nice to see you do better. You don't know how I'm doing in life. You're a stranger to me. $10,000 a month at the end of the day? What the hell is that? As a person, though. What is is that? Like, like how long is that going to last? All I'm trying to say is. Mm-hmm. Figure out how long you want to do this for if it's till you're 25 and then say, do you know what? I'm going to save up this much money and this is what I want to do next. That's all I'm literally That's trying to say to you. That's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. I never said That's I, what I'm I was trying to say. My, like, girl, I can change instigator. careers whenever I want. Exactly. This is what I've chosen and to do. But no, you're done. choosing That's to do it, and I'm saying that you're like, still like, young. Right. So exactly. find out what you so want to do next. That's past. what I'm literally trying to tell right. you. Right. I never said I could erase the past, but it's like if I wanted to change jobs, I could do that. That's great. Yeah. But for me, I don't want to change jobs. Go, babe. Right. So, like, from... From from what? Okay, before you got mad. <laughs> okay, and I I'm was... on my mood stabilizer pill for anybody wondering. Okay. 25 milligram Lamectal. Girl, that whatever, I, yeah. but I'm That's trying to tell that. you that before you popped Imagine off, me off on my me, pill. I was trying to say, like, where the line was for you because technically you would be in that. Eula sees the pagan donated $200. <laughs> That's All I'm saying is. Same category. You're not better than me because you have more thing. money, girl. It Dude. doesn't matter about having Damn. money. I actually said I, I would like to see you. you brought up the money multiple times. You are better I'm very fortunate. I never have to work again. That's my prerogative. Okay. Good for you. I do music because I love music. At the end of the day, I sincerely never have to work again. That's my position. So when I see other girls that actually do have to work, I'm like, oh my god, like... So you're mad that I have to work? No, I'm not mad. I said I would like to see you do better in the future. That's it. That's literally my point here. My okay, point, well, my point is very know, simple. Girl, my point is, is like, super simple. You, and then nothing you said made sense because it was just. And then when well, I'm not doing professional porn, money, but here's the you thing: you have an OnlyFans. Girl, okay. Earlier, you literally okay. said that your naked body pictures are online. Still. Literally, you can't get no. Rid of them. Did say that. You said I can erase my OnlyFans, but doesn't mean I can erase my content. Yeah, yeah that, that is true. You, know, you can't girl? erase content off OnlyFans. Does, are you worried about you know your kid finding that? No, but there's ways to get it off. Right. Why? So then why should I be worried about my kid finding it? I don't know your financial situation. You might not be a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Moving forward, all I'm saying, if you are, congratulations, you too. I think a man that you... All I'm saying is, have a backup plan. You might have to work until you're whatever years old. I don't have to work again, so I can really Good do whatever I want. Good for you. Good for you. When I see 19-year-olds literally going straight into porn and not... Did you go to university? I went to Mississippi State University. I did college first. I tried first before I had an OnlyFans. But it didn't work out, right? That's why you did OnlyFans? <laughs> Well, guess what? I'm a mother, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Right. How I have a life, bro. You, you have, have a, a thousand life. followers. I have my I house. Saw your Instagram. You have a thousand followers. I have almost a million followers. I've been doing this for okay. a long time. Okay. I was, on the, I was one of the first live stream groups. Okay. On YouTube, okay. Oh my and I was gosh, also on really? television. So here's the thing. When I was your guys' age, I went to university. I didn't okay. go straight to OnlyFans. And where did I get you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did Where did university get you? Do you know where it got me? Where? It didn't get me anywhere. Then, I, don't so use, I don't use my university. What is your point? I don't use you it. If you point. go to college, maybe you might have to work unless you become a millionaire overnight. <clears throat> How did Girl, you become a millionaire? What was it the doesn't point matter. Of what, everything that you were saying. All I'm saying is, 
I might not have to use my degree. I might not have to do any of that. But you know, you could. You could do a lot of stuff. Right. You know why? I can't be positive with you because you take back. everything so the wrong way. Here's the thing. You guys knew each other coming in, so obviously you're, you're going to put your week. two cents in. It doesn't I mean, matter. You're going to put your two cents in. We only knew each other for a week before. I literally <laughs> defended her. Just Gerald donated $200. Okay, no one cares. Okay, I don't, don't care at the end of the day. There way. you go. I feel bad for your child. I mean, I don't know who's on your side Only right fans now. I don't give a, a fuck. fuck. What do you have? I just feel like Are you, I have do you have money? I have a do you have followers? What the fuck do you have? I what do you have? Like? I'm 20 years old. I'm living yeah, my life. And guess what? When I was 20 years old, guess where I was what? living? I was living in a fucking penthouse in West Hollywood. What the fuck are you doing at 20 years old? I pay for her. I have my dog. Congratulations. And I have a job. I'm a 20 year You make $23 an hour. I'm a nurse. $23 an hour, guys. Viewers, $23 an hour. Like, that's going to get you anywhere. Shit. So aggressive because you're better than her we get it make your <laughs> good luck on 23 dollars an hour is what i'll say making that for the rest of your life we'll see where that gets you do you even have a Roth you don't IRA? need to diss people do for I having a, a Roth, Roth IRA? excuse me you don't bro. even know what a Roth IRA are you? is you have no <laughs> retirement fund i bet you guys can't even afford a pill well <laughs> you guys have no retirement fund you guys are going to be losers for the rest I'm of your life i'm 19 girl i don't need a retirement fund you're going to be losers for the rest of your life I'm okay but laughing what is, at so you. you're saying that it's a problem that she has an honest living making 23 dollars an hour at a normal job i don't That's care an issue. it's an issue it for only fans and it's an issue for porn but see, what is your point like all i'm trying what, to say is see you're mad is you because i use my brains to get money while you had to use your body to get money okay well guess what i was also on youtube and tiktok and i was number one for comedy exactly you're not even funny you are you're boring that's why you're starting up with me and you know i have followers you're irrelevant to me I promise you. I don't care. Stop starting up with me and shut. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay.